Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if Internet Explorer is not opening on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys on how to hopefully resolve it. So we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left on the Start button one time. You want to type in Internet Properties or Internet Options. Best match should come back with Internet Options right above Control Panel. Left click on that one time. Now you want to left click on the Advanced tab on the far right and then left click on this Reset button underneath Reset Internet Explorer Settings. Reset to Internet Explorer Settings to their default condition. Left click on Reset and left click on Reset once again. Just make sure you read exactly what it's going to be resetting there. It shows it all right on the screen and click on Close would to just restart your computer and hopefully that has resolved the issue. If it has not, I would then follow it up by opening up the start menu, type in CMD, right click on the command prompt that comes up from the list, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to just click on yes, you want to run it. So now we're going to run the system file checker or the SFC space forward slash scan now utility on our computer. So like I just spelled it out, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Then you want to hit enter on your computer. This will take some time to scan, so please be patient. And once it's done running, you're probably going to have to restart your computer. And hopefully that has resolved your issue at this point. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.